In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use MIDI remote scripting to gain access to the device controls without having to actually go through the MIDI map mode each time. By using this technique, we can mimic the track control section on the APC40, which I don't find that useful for performing or DJing, but it's really useful in the studio when producing music. Now I've got my Nocturne set up with um, Automap Pro. So in this page, I've got key commands set to the buttons. So we've got um, on the right hand side, cursor keys, up, down, left, right. On the left hand side, we've got a toggle clip, track view, open and close browser, and this one is focus up and focus down. So by using combinations of the cursor keys and the focus buttons, I can select a, um, a device, and as long as it's got the small blue hand on it, the uh, controls are automatically mapped just like in the APC's track control section. And like the APC, there's eight knobs, which is quite convenient, because I mainly use it for controlling macro controls. But you can actually use the cursor keys to select individual devices and affect the first eight uh, controls that Ableton assigns to the device. Now while this technique may have some limitations, um, I think it's definitely an advantage to be able to get access to the, um, the first eight parameters on, on a device, um, especially if you start getting into the habit of using um, macro controls. Um, it'll definitely make a big difference to your uh, workflow. Now in page 2 of my auto map settings, I've um, assigned transport controls um, and because the MIDI script has transport controls in there, once this is set up in um, auto map, you, you never have to assign these again, no matter which project you open, which again is quite handy, not to have to go through the process of uh, going into MIDI map mode and assign in play, stop, record, loop, rewind and fast forward. So again, it's a little bit limited, but it's definitely worth giving it a try.